Hi right, fellas, welcome back. It's been a while since I've been in this garage. Um, I've been mad busy with work and life in general, uh, so everything's kind of took a back seat on the minis for a bit. As you can see, the van is still not still not back yet. Um, the van is, is painted, um, it's just finishing off getting flatted and polished, and I'm hoping, um, so today is, what's today? Saturday the 8th, uh, so I'm hoping next weekend I'll have the van back uh, and then when the van's back I'll do a bit of a walk around and show you guys exactly what's been done to it because I know it's been a while since it's been gone um, but I've seen the van uh, in person and it is looking absolutely unreal um, massively massively happy with what, what's been getting done anyway while I finish my brew I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd show you a few bits that I got from Bingley uh, anyone who stopped me at Bingley and said hiya uh, I've met quite a few subscribers Thanks for stopping me. Um, it seems crazy when you actually meet people in person. Um, obviously, because you don't know who's watching your videos, but it's nice to actually meet people. Anywho, anywho. Right, so a few of the bits that I've got. Um, first one is I've got a new exhaust manifold. This is a Maniflow, um, and I believe it is a stage two manifold. And the reason you can tell that, is Paul Jeffries told me, is this bit here is slightly wider than that bit. Um, no real reason for getting stage two. Uh, I just thought the old exhaust manifold on it, I won't swear, uh, it's seen better days. Um, so I thought, why not? There was one there at the show, uh, 98 quid. Come to the new wire piece as well. So I thought, yeah, bargain, I'll have that. So that's what I got. Well, one of the things I've got from Bingley. I also got uh, a new, so the air filter box, I got a new uh, DSN bit that goes on the top there. I kind of wish I'd have got the DSN um, lockdowns for it now, uh, but I'll just order them in the post. Um, I never thought, I go to these shows all the time and I'm just like, yeah, I'm going to get this, this and this, and then by the time I actually get walking around, I forget what I need. Um, so anyway, I got, got one of them. I also got a radiator top uh, mount bracket. Uh, obviously for a 12, 1275 engine because the one that I took off is all pitted and by the time I messed around, um, you know, wire wheeling it all back, priming it, filler priming it, I, I, never, I don't think I'd ever get it to look as good as that. The great thing about Smithy's bits as well is the products that you actually get, you can just bolt straight onto your car, whereas if you buy stuff from like Mini Spares and the other places, they're just... The quality of them, it's, it's poor. Um, anyway, that was only £7.50 that, so I thought... I've at least got an hour, hour and a half messing around with that top bracket and for £7.50 it's not worth my time. Uh, I also got um, from Wright's uh, Auto Supplies a UNC um, zinc plated bolt kit. Um, I did buy a UNF bolt kit um, off eBay but I very quickly found out that all the engine is UNC and then all the bits on the mini, I think is UNF. So anyway, I've got two of them now. Um, so yeah, all new nuts and bolts will be going back on as the van gets built back up. Uh, for people who've been watching the van build from the start, you will know I'm going from a servo assisted brake system to a single line brake system. So I've got this little T-piece thing. Um, so I believe the front comes out of that one or whichever. Um, so that comes out the front and then you, you know what I'm on about. Uh, I've got a radiator, um, Hang on. Yeah, so it's the radiator fitting kit um, in stainless. Um, I did buy this before I bought all them bolts, um, but stainless I think is better than zinc because you can see the stainless. So that'll be quite that'll be quite nice. Uh, I've got a new brake pedal switch because um, I've got a new pedal box as well for the van because obviously you have to change the pedal box if you're going from servo to unservo. Um, also, uh, my mate Matt got me some R clips so you'll know them split pins that come out the clevis pins that all the brake and clutch master um, things in place they're an absolute swine to get out and Paul Jeffries recommended to get some R clips anyway um, there was a home base shutting down and Mini Matt managed to get these for like 20p a pack um, so yeah Matt I know you're watching mate thank you very much um, so yeah also I'll leave a link to Matt's channel in the description as well um, He's been restoring Project Bumble, which is it's kind of like done, but there's still a few videos that are coming out um, every Sunday, I think he's releasing them. So, yeah, make sure you want to check him out. 
Also, this is what I'm most proud of. Uh, so the fan off me, off the van was plastic and it's just all grubby and scratched up. Anyway, I saw uh, my mate's van, Mark's, um, and he's got one of these on it. And I was just like, that is absolutely sick. Where can I get one? Anyway, uh, Mr. Hart found one in the auto jumble for me. So this one's been powder coated. I can't remember what stall I got it from now. Um, anyway, that was a that was a good buy. So that's going on the van. Um, and apparently the metal fans pull a little bit better than plastic fans, but they're a little bit noisier. Um, but to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think I'm going to wear that when I'm driving a minivan anyway. So that's not a problem to me. What else did I get? What else did I get? Uh, I got some stickers. So I got a Lucas coil sticker, um, obviously for the coil. I got a Unipart sticker for the air filter box. Um, I'm going to be restoring the plastic on that air filter box as well uh, with a heat gun. Um, so yeah, make sure you stay tuned and watch that because I've watched a million videos on YouTube and what the, the results you can get you know, through a couple of hours of work into that. Because if I don't believe you can buy them new, if you can buy them air filter boxes new, make sure if anyone does know where you can get them from, just let me know. Uh, I'd really, really appreciate that. And also I've got a sticker for the radiator as well, uh, like a unipart antifreeze, don't drain thing. Um, this is just more kind of finishing, finishing touches. Uh, what I've been up to then over the past few weeks, um, I know I've, I've been doing bits and bobs, so, Hang on. I've painted up the engine mount stroke radiator thing. Um, so I'm going to bolt, bolt that on today and put the engine mount on that. Put all new nuts in it and stuff. Also, uh, what else have I done? What else have I done? Rocker cover. Now, I did start doing a video on this, doing um, kind of like. I was going to do a restoration video on it, how to restore it. So I started wire wheeling it and then I very quickly found out that the paint wasn't just, wasn't budging easy. So I took it down to the mechanics and I asked Paul, I said, can you sandblast that for me? Um, and put it in some um, primer for me and they did it. Uh, actually they did it for me like free of charge, which was a real good gesture of them. So thank you very much, mate. Um, and also what I've done is I've put a filler primer over the top of it. Cause what I'm going to do is I'm going to sand that back to make sure it's completely, completely flat before I put some, uh, gloss uh, mobile green over the top of it um, so what I'm probably going to do today is I'm going to just paint inside of there let that go off um, just because I don't want primer because I know primer's, primer's porous so I just need to put some on there just to seal it a little bit so I'll do that also uh, my radiator so I know I bought a new radiator so people are probably thinking why have you stripped it but the finish on them is just absolutely appalling I have painted this radiator twice. Um, the first time I did it, I got an absolutely fantastic finish on it. I'll see if I can find um, a video on my phone. Uh, really, really good finish. And a fly landed right there. And I was absolutely fuming. So at the time, I didn't know I was going to get a sticker because if I'd have known then what I know now, I'd have just took the fly off and stuck the sticker right over the top of it. Job done. Anyway, Resprayed it, but then the paint reacted with the previous paint and then it all blistered. So I've had to take it completely back down to bare metal again. So I'm going to give that a coat of paint as well um, when I finish up in the garage today. Um, and then I'm going to try and cover it up as best I can to try and stop flies getting in it. Um, because that fly like just absolutely just ruined hours and hours of work for me. So yeah, and also keep that door shut this time. Uh, so that's that. What else? What else? Oh, you might have noticed. My old chair in the background, got a new wheelchair. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump out and I'll show you a couple of the welds on this. So for anyone who's welding, will be able to appreciate the welds on this chair. Um, I know people are not here for wheelchairs, but I know a few people are interested in how it's made and stuff. It's a completely bespoke chair um, and it's going to be a chair that I just use every day. I'm not going to be using it in the garage because that one is absolutely full of overspray. Um, so yeah, I'll jump in my old chair, I'll show you this and then we'll get busy getting a few of these little bits on the engine, getting a few bits sprayed up and uh, getting ready for the van's return next weekend so catch you in a minute guys Right boys, there it is so yeah, it's fully, fully TIG welded um, it's absolutely made to measure as well so it's like made to the millimetre um, in terms of like you know, uh, you got seat width, you got heat, heel to back of the knee measurement and the, literally everything, everything is custom on it um, I've got carbon fibre wheels which is cool 
got carbon fibre backrest, uh, carbon fibre side guards, carbon fibre seat pan, uh, carbon fibre foot plate. Literally, it is absolutely bonkers this chair. Um, so yeah, I need to look after it. Anyway, enough waffle, let's get to the video. I was going to fit that fan without mentioning which way to put it on, did you? Okay, so this is a special uh, shout out to my mate, Mark Piper. Um, so the metal fan uh, doesn't have any indication on it whatsoever which side it should go on the engine. However, I looked at a couple of the shows and this side is the side that should face the engine. And then the back side is the side that should face the radiator. So let's get back to the video and get it fitted. Right, okay, so I have found out that my bolts are too long um, for that fan. I'm going to try and find the old ones uh, and then compare them lengthwise because I tightened it up um, and the fan was like, you couldn't move it. Um, so I can't see anything on the end of it. You don't like where it's been rubbing, but as soon as I cracked them off, that fan's easy to move. So I'm going to try and find the old bolts and I'll come back to you and see what, where we're going wrong. Right, okay, so there's the old bolt, and there's a new bolt. Now, they're exactly the same length, um, so I can't understand why the fan won't turn. Um, so I'm going to whip the fan off, have a quick look what's going on, uh, and then I'll get back to you. Right, boys, that's our problem. Um, one, I've scratched my water pump, and I'm well pissed off. Uh, but what we need to do is cut those bolts down. Um, so I'm going to figure out how long these bolts need to be, cut them down. Uh, oh man, look at that. See, it's not all fun and games and it's not all plain sailing. Um, I'm, going to touch, I'm going to touch that in with a bit of more green. Because uh, you ne you're never going to see that anyway, because once that goes on, yeah look. 
once that goes on there, it's hidden. Um, so, but yeah, I'll still touch it in for my own peace of mind. Right, okay boys, I think I've found the solution. Um, so, those are the bolts that we was, I was using, and those are now the new bolts. Um, so as you can see, they're probably seven, eight mil, uh, seven, eight mil uh, shorter. So let's go with them ones uh, and get it fitted. I'm, tr I'm trying to figure out why, um, do you know what, I was taking the piss earlier about fit fitting a fan and it's come back and bit me on the arse. Um, so I don't know if you see that fan there, and then you see this fan. I think the offset of it's a little bit different, um, and also that plastic bit is a little bit, a um, little bit thicker than the metal, hence why it might be catching. But I think I've figured it out now. So let's try this. Uh, I'm not going to video it again. Um, I'll let you know how it works. Okay, boys. So I've just fitted two for the time being. There you go. Yeah, it's like I said, I think them ones were too long and they were just coming through and catching on that. So I'll fit the other two now uh, and we'll jump onto something else. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. Right, okay, boys, I'm going to put a bit of paint on this rocker cover. So I've got my tin of paint. This is my old tin of paint, not my new one. I'm just going to use the old tin to do the inside. Let that go off, go off for a couple of days and then um, I'll paint the top of it once I've flattened it all back. So, wait for this to warm up and then get some paint on. That's had two coats. Um, I might just give it one more um, just to see if I can lose a bit of that, lose a bit of that pitting in the bottom. Right, guys, that's had uh, about four or five coats on the bottom um, to lose that pitting. I can't really lose that pitting on the side um, just because I can't get the paint on thick enough. Um, I could probably do it in loads of little coats, but to be honest with you, all I wanted on it was a coat of paint. Um, so I've painted that up now, so I ordered one in and I've got carried away and I've started spraying the, uh, the radiator so I'm going to give it a couple more coats and then see what it's uh, it turned out like.
that's that sprayed. Fingers crossed I don't get any flies in it this time. But as you can see, that's turned out absolutely fantastic. Alright boys, that's, that's me for today. Um, yeah, no real structure to it. Uh, just kind of doing little bits. But like I say, when the van's back next weekend, I can really get stuck in then. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Because um, I say I'm going to be doing pedal box, uh, master cylinders and stuff. And putting a bit of the wiring loom in on my own. And then my mate Mark is uh, going to come and help me drop the engine in it. So... Keep your eyes peeled for that boys and uh, I shall see you next time.